Hi Padres, this is Chase, like the bank, and this is Dad Pod's Rent Rant. I'm here by myself, the kids didn't want to come with me, and please forgive me for being a little bit splotchy. Uh, I discovered last night that uh, I am allergic to shrimp, so I'm feeling a little bit like uh, I'm overdosed on Benadryl right now. But anyway, I do want to talk about uh, a little bit of frustration that I have with some of these comic books oversaturation with popular characters in comic books that have no reason to include these comic book characters. And specifically, I'm talking about uh, Wolverine. Now, they used to do this with Spider-Man all the time, that he'd be a special guest in every single story, every single time, no matter what. You know, you had like a Daredevil comic, there's Spider-Man. You had a Fantastic Four comic, there's Spider-Man. Uh, basically, just uh, Spider-Man was everywhere. Well, today, uh, I guess it's because of the X-Men movies. I don't know. Maybe it's just been like this for a long time. But Wolverine is in literal, literally everything. Um, I just read uh, about five comic books in the last few days. And of those, four of the comics included a cameo of Wolverine by about page 10 to 15. Um, and I mean, this included everything from like a pirate comic book that had Wolverine running across a beach happily looking for beer um, and a, uh, a space comic book that had Wolverine in the background ordering his steak to be done uh, rare and uh, other comic books that had Wolverine doing what Wolverine does, beach volleyball Wolverine. Um, ice skating Wolverine. Wolverine is everywhere. He was at the beginning of She-Hulk, which I actually, you know, at the time was like, yeah, that's really cool because it makes sense him being this immortal character and She-Hulk dealing with uh, immortality. Um, but in the comics that I just recently read, it didn't make as much sense, primarily because they all took place at the same time and in different places. I mean, one literally took place on the moon, and Wolverine was there. One took place on the island of Krakoa, and Wolverine was there. One took place in New York, and Wolverine was there. He is everywhere. And I know that, like, now that I'm reading the Dawn of X, that Krakoa, they carry around these plants that allow them to kind of take portals from place to place. But even if I had a portal to every place on the planet, there's, it's, you still wouldn't run into me everywhere or Wolverine every, it just doesn't make any damn sense. So, um, this is a, a little bit of a frustration. The other thing is like, I get the concept of including a cameo or a special guest that's like a big character in order to attract readers, but these are advertised placements of Wolverine. This is like Wolverine showing up on page 10 or 15 of your 30 page comic book. And I think that it's pretty safe to say that if I made it halfway through your comic book, that it's not Wolverine that is going to make me read the other half. Like I'm not like, ah, I'm just going to put this new mutants comic down unless I get me some Wolverine. Uh, so Marvel, Stop it. Wolverine doesn't need to be in everything. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. Um, and that's really it. That's uh, really my big frustration is that, uh, you know, four out of five comic books includes Wolverine and doesn't need to. Uh, anyway, this is Chase, like the bank. This has been a short episode of Dad Pod's Rent Rant. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. I'm in the line for Starbucks. There's a guy in front of me in a Ford Explorer who looks just like Wolverine.